I first met Doris in July of 1959. He was just getting out of the service, and he was a very handsome man. But I was just 19. I wasn't looking for the one. I asked her to the movies, uh, North by Northwest, I seem to recall, but she said no. <laughs> I was persistent, though, and 55 years later, we're still fucking. When you've been boning the same special woman for as long as I have, you learn how to really turn her inside out with your rock-hard cock. Since we've met, we've fucked thousands of times. But even today, there's nobody I'd rather have deep-dicking me at night and fucking me again in the morning. People ask how we've lasted so long, and I say it's all about accepting change. When Doris was younger, she liked to be thrown around like a rag doll. But these days, she doesn't care what I do as long as I give her pussy the drilling it needs. On the other hand, he's still the same old Isaac. He loved coming on my tits 55 years ago, and he still does today. Well, heck, if it ain't broke. The amazing thing is that we've been fucking each other senseless for so long that our kids are all growing up and they're fucking people too. Jane is fucking John, Ashley's fucking Tim, Ross is fucking Lucille. They're all fucking very, very hard. My parents actually started fucking each other in 1927, and they continued banging in every conceivable position until my father died in 1977. I like to think that he taught me a little something about blowing my load in the same hole night after night. We want people to know how important it is to find someone to fuck. I mean, really fuck the living shit out of. If you can do that for 55 years, I guess you're doing something right.